One of the programmes run by the National Biodiversity Data Centre is the Citizen Scientist programme. Jonathan Derham is one of 3,000 citizen scientists across the country who upload and share information to the centre's website for analysis. What's actually involved in being a citizen scientist, Jonathan? I think the key skill is just to be aware of what's around you. You know, uh, I, what interests me is when I be out walking either in the garden or out in the local fields or down on the beach, I see all this bit of nature around me and I'm just curious, I think anyone who's curious, we would call them a, a citizen scientist really, you know, what is that and uh, what would it look like when it was alive or, you know, why is it in flower now? So. What caterpillar does that grow into? Is it a moth or a butterfly? So I had all these kind of interests. And uh, for years I was, you know, tipping away in my own little kind of planet when I'd be out there uh, walking in the fields. And oh, what do you get out of it? What I'm really pleased about is when I do make uh, observations, I can now record them and upload them to the website. So they become part of the national record and national archive of our natural environment. And that's kind of, that's actually motivating as well. It gives a kind of a bit of purpose, not just that I'm out enjoying it, but I'm adding value to the scientific enterprise, I suppose, really as well. Me and 3,000 other citizen scientists who are out there, you know, uh, we're kind of a little bit of a club, really. We're all in our own little world, but making these records. So when I'm out in, the, out in the, the field or out in my garden or walking along the beach and I'm not quite sure what it is I'm looking at, you know, what shell is that or what insect or butterfly, I can use these swatches that are produced by the National Biodiversity Data Centre and they have, they have ones for butterflies, for shield bugs, for trees, flowers and they're continually adding to their list and they're very handy as you can see, they're very hand sized and marvellous for you know, young people when you're out with them and you can give them one and say, OK, what is that? But also, you know, for, for grown-ups as well, because I can't remember the name of everything. I'm not a kind of an expert ecologist. So it's kind of useful to have these go-to guides, you know. And considering so many of us are at home now, are probably going to staycation, uh, Jonathan, would you encourage other members of the public to become citizen scientists like yourself? Absolutely. I think it's a marvellous uh, it's a marvellous thing to do with, with young families as well, but even for yourself, just that awareness, you know, to take notice. And I think people have the time now, you know, to actually notice what's going on in the back garden and uh, uh, what's going on. And they can also plot the seasons, you know, because once you get into it and you get used to it, you say, well, a certain butterfly will only ever come in February or March, you know, and then it'll come and it'll go and then there'll be another one. So you can actually plot how the seasons of the year move through what insects are flying at the time and things like that. Mm -hmm.